everyone, it's Froggy, and we're back with some more ugh, Universal Yums! It's also me. And, yeah, well, you're always here, so... Not always, just during these, because I get food. You do get food, yes. <laughs> I also get hazelnut runoff. Yeah, you do. I don't like hazelnuts. Um, so I don't know what country this is, so once again, it'll be a big surprise. Let's open our, um, South Korea! South Korea! That'll be fun. Okay. Somewhere so, outside of Europe, which is nice. Alright, so, we... Why is this upside downy? Oh, it's because she's like break dancing. All right, she's break dancing uh, in South Korea, which is cool. And then for our sticker, I dove for delicious treasure in South Korea. So this is the sticker that we got this time. Okay. Um, and then we've got our big pad thingy that talks about like different countries and stuff. Okay. I mean the different areas. Yeah, different areas of South Korea. There's only the one country. I'm very confused. North Korea would tell you otherwise, but... <laughs> Alright, um, so let's go ahead and start. So the first one is churros snacks, which looks... Churros? Like, yeah, multi-grain cinnamon. You're not gonna like this. Uh, so it's a churro snack. Hold so up, I mean it's... churro snack flavored cinnamon, sugar, five grains, and maple syrup. Keep in mind, regular churros also have cinnamon in them, and I... Yeah. Freaking love regular churros. Look how cute that is, though, on the back. It's so, very adorable. Look at him, he's playing, he's playing a little guitar. Very curious as to how this is going to turn out, because I did not, I did not even occur to me that churros would be oh, a popular thing in South so Korea. Oh, smell so good. Smell, smell, smell. Oh, that's good. You get that hit of maple, too. Yeah. It's like this weird Mexican-Canadian fusion, right. but it's a South Korean so snack. this is what it looks like here. Side view. I don't know how well you can see that, but... Oh, you can see right through it. Oh, it's so crunchy. Mm. Mm hmm I like that. I like that a lot. Mm, very good. Oh, that's delicious. It's mm -hmm. like a carnival it's like a carnival churro. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what it tastes like. Except it's not as soft, it's way crunchier. It's way crunchier, but it's not like too crunchy. It kinda it's reminds like, me almost of cinnamon toast crunch. It's <laughs> oh, No, you're not wrong. <laughs> that's what it tastes but, like. But I like it. It's um I prefer to eat cinnamon toast crunch without the milk anyways. Did you ever try French toast crunch? Was that a thing out here? Um, I feel like I've seen it before, but I never had it, no. Oh, I mean, okay. you're asking the guy who's eaten Honey Nut Cheerios every morning for like 20 straight years. Yeah, that's very true. Actually, I think probably running up an 18. I'm, that's not a joke, by the way. No, Literally, that's all he eats. I've gotten him to try other cereals before. He just... I, I mean, I've, had, I've tried other cereals before her too, but like I keep coming back to the honey. Yeah. The honey nut. The honey nut. Yeah. In Cheerio well, form. Anyways. Okay, so we've got another truffle potato chip. Naturally and artificially flavored. So, those truffle potato chips? Yeah, I don't know, but I'm hoping that these ones are going to be a little bit better than the first ones that we had, because I wasn't a big fan of those ones. Yeah, me neither. Like, I liked them at first, and then it just got too much. Okay, smells interesting. Smells exactly the same as the first one. <laughs> no, this one's got like a... No, it's got a weird smell. Like it almost kind of smells like tomato pulp. But it looks just like a regular chip, like I'm not seeing truffle. Maybe it's truffle oil? I think it tastes good, like oh, it's a strong taste. It's not nearly as crunchy as the other ones. No. The other ones were a lot more like Miss Vicky's, where yeah. they're like super hard crunchy. This one's got like a sweet aftertaste. It does taste kind of sweet. What is that like? Okay, potato palm oil truffle seasoning. So mix seasoning powder, vegetable creamer, corn syrup, palm oil, blah, blah, blah. Just, we got brackets and brackets here. There's a lot of sugar in here. Yeah, glucose and sugar. Acetic chicken acid. Chicken powder, clam powder. I can definitely see why chicken truffle and clam oil, powder would be used. Olive oil powder, artificial flavors. Contains milk, soy, and clam. <laughs> Just in That's case you're so allergic. weird, but okay. Mm, people have I like them allergies. though, they're not bad. It tastes very strong. I can't say whether I like it or not, to be honest. I mean, I'll probably be the one eating them anyways. So that's fine for me. Okay, so the next one is Choco Corn Puffs. Naturally and artificially flavored. So this is what it looks like here with this cute little girl on it. She's got some friends on the back. I'm not sh I feel like this is gonna taste like Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like this- it Smells kinda... like Cocoa Puffs. It smells kind of like cat food. I'm not getting that. It smells like chocolate to me. Like chocolate uh, powder. It absolutely smells like cat food to me. I don't... <laughs> maybe it's just because it's like the, the raw cocoa powder. So it looks like a, like a chocolate... It looks video. like a cat turd. It does kind of look like a cat turd. Um, I'm thinking that there's... 
coconut in here. I'm thinking there's cat in there. There's no cat. <laughs> it really just tastes and feels like a chocolate cheese puff. Like, it's like Cocoa Puffs. It is, it is like the very better, like, cocoa powder flavor. I mean, try it and see for yourself. scent, which is kind of what's giving it that cat, that cat food scent. Mm. I'm gonna have another one. I don't mind this. Oh. Oh! It's almost like one of those little wafers. Yeah. It's kind of like that consistency. It's like the... Yeah. Like it melts, it's very like tasty. You start chewing on it and it melts in you so it doesn't taste like cat food. It doesn't taste like cat food. It smells <laughs> like cat food. Looks like cat poop. Yeah, I'm not, I don't tastes think delicious. There you it go. tastes like those little chocolate wafers that Eventually you get with like the little there. frosting in it. All right. Sweet and sour, chewy oh, grapes. Oh, this is all this up is my like alley. This is a high thing. This is a, completely up my alley. Yeah, I know it is. I'm not even big on grape, honestly. Here. I feel like I've had these before, actually. This you looks familiar. <laughs> eh. mm, hello, oh, oh, no, these oh, are way oh. gooier. Oh, my God. I'm like, I can't get it Maybe out. Maybe it's just because like, it's, it's just... hot in here. Maybe. I mean, it hasn't been in here for very long. What? It's like a grape toffee feel, almost. Okay, it looks like gum. Is it gum? It might be gum. I think it's gum. I can't tell if it's gum. It's almost like um, like a grape taffy. It's like Laffy Taffy. Yeah. It's sour grape Laffy Taffy, but it's slightly chewier. That's why I'm wondering if it's gum, because it looks and is shaped like gum. Mm. It's not gum. Oh. <laughs> My jaw just popped. Mm. <laughs> I'm well, okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we got our first ambulance trip on the channel. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Very it's definitely not gum. Although I do like it quite a lot. My eye is twitching now because it's been a while since I've had actually any proper sour candy. So I'm a. Is it sour to you? It is. You have a weak, weak. I used to sour. eat full bags of Warheads when I was a kid. It's been a while since I've had any actually proper, proper sour candy. Yeah, you're the one who has all this sour experience, and yet you're just like my eye is twitching, and it's like I feel like I'm buckering, and it's like, mm, tastes like candy to me. <laughs> what if it like alternates? It's like one sweet, one sour, one sweet. No, like I can feel the sour, like I'm salivating as if it were sour. It's just it's I'm I can take way more sour. Apparently. Yeah. I need to start eating more bags of warheads. You know, so that's what you need in your life. Yep, diabetes. All right, there we go. All right, uh, let's do this one. Oh, that reminds me, I got I still got my Jolly Ranchers left over by my desk, and all those candy canes. What? Eat them. I, I will. He's got a lot of Christmas candy left. I, uh, yeah, I kind of right. keep forgetting I have it. Spicy chicken corn puffs. Okay, interesting. I like this. This this sounds weird. Look, look at him. Look, he's so fat and cute. And he's like, <laughs> he, he's a rooster, though, not it. He's got that, he's got that big barrel chest, like foghorn leghorn. I wonder why chicken. Eat I mean, that's... Enough. Chicken corn puffs. Oh, spicy chicken flavor. It's like the ramen. It smells like, yeah, it smells like ramen, I was just gonna say. It smells like ramen. All right, so <laughs> this is kind of what they come out in is these little poofy guys. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, the taffy out of my teeth because I'm just getting random shocks of sour grape flavor. It's like chicken and spicy and sweet and kind of like corn nuts, but not corn nuts. Oh, yeah, it's definitely got the corn nut texture. It's got the corn nut texture, but it's not corn It's nut. got some good heat. Yeah, like my mouth is like... Like it's not... Yeah, it's, it's like it's eating spicy ramen, but it's not like... <laughs> not over. like the spicy ramen we have? Yeah, like That it's actually not, murders people? Yeah. It's not like too spicy where it's like I get the heat and like I get that tingling sensation, but like I still get all of the flavor and that's what... That's the spicy that I like. No, it's good. It's very good. It's very good. Here, I'm, 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 I'm gonna have a couple more of these. Um, let's do this one, I guess. So this is a Peppero Crunchy. It looks like, I can't tell if it's gonna be, I think it's Pocky. And I can't tell if it's like nut chunks that are in there or if it's like those, the Crunchy Bar where it's like Reese's, uh, not Reese's. Contains soy milk, almonds, wheat, and peanuts. Oh, so it's peanuts. Okay, that's good. I like almonds peanuts. Almonds and peanuts. I like both of those. These are freaking delicious. I gotta stop before I eat the entire bag. <laughs> Mister, I'm bloated. 
I mean, it's... these are like, these are super light and airy and fluffy. Oh yeah, this is basically like their version of Pocky. Nope. It's straight up what it is. Whoop. And it's not hazelnuts, which I love. I'm getting a weird smell off of it again. Maybe my nose is just all messed up today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely not hazelnuts. I mean, I'm not saying I'm getting a hazelnut smell, I'm just like, I No, I'm just saying this is the only thing that's had nuts in it, and it's not hazelnuts, and it's still nuts with chocolate. So Off I'm all about start. it. So, so far, South Korea is a total win for me. I think this no. one's going to be my favorite. I think. I haven't disliked anything yet. Oh, crap. The only um, the only thing I think <laughs> that I might have minded would have been the truffle chips, but even then it was just kind of like, a, eh, what else have you got? You know? All right, so let's try this one. I don't really know what this says. It's like a strawberry. Jellylicious strawberry something. Here's the thing about it Korean is I like can't tell whether it's right side up or upside down. <laughs> oh, that's a very strong strawberry smell. But at least it doesn't oh, smell artificial. Oh, that smells delicious. Yeah, I do not like strawberries very much. But it's like one of those, oh, it's the soft. You don't even like strawberries. I love much. strawberry flavored candy, oh, though. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's a gummy. So it's got the white back and everything, and it's these are actually like rays, so it feels very nice on the fingies. It's like a weird squishy toy. You got that texture on your phalanges. Yeah, my phalanges. But I think it's just gonna be like those soft gummies. I'm down with that. Yep. It's not even a very. It's like a nice creamy strawberry okay. flavor. After all of this and this still burning my mouth, I can barely taste the strawberry. <laughs> mm. The strawberry in my in my mouth is actually kind of suppressing the spicy. Me too, but I can't taste the strawberry. That's my problem. Oh, I can still taste it. Look, it's very faint. Mm. Mm. Everybody, welcome to cat. Hello, cat. All right. So now we've got Coke Das. Coke white, Das. Coke Das. Uh, <laughs> white tort cookies. So it's this here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's got the little cake in the top. And then on the back, it says... Mascarpone and cream, Italian style cream cheese, and ultra rich cream. So I'm hoping that. Oh, those that's like flavors... what's inside the cookie, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that that's the flavors, because that sounds amazing to me. Oh, they're little individually wrapped, guys! So I can see. eat these, like, as a, at my leisure instead of, like, the entire package, because that's just what I want to do. What I am want to do. Oh, God. There we go. So it comes in these little individual packages, which are very cute. Here you go. You Thank can have you. one, and I will have another. Oh, I guess I grabbed two. You can go back. They are quite thin. Yep, they're very thin. Kind like of makes me question thing. if oh, it wow. really needs to be individually wrapped in plastic. That's kind of... It's so you can take these little individual snacks with you on the go. I know, so but this like... this is what it looks like. Like, it's, it's wafer thin. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it, like you mentioned, they're really good, thin wafers. I don't oh, know. Oh, it smells really good. Like, at least, at least do, like, packs at two or something. This is kind of... smells like a cream puff. A lot of garbage you're generating here. Yeah. That's to say nothing of all the other stuff. Mm. Especially because Japan and Korea mm. already kind of have a reputation for that. Mmm. This is a really light snack. Tastes like a vanilla. That's it. I want to see if I can open it up. It is quite tasty. I'll mm -hmm. give it that. It's got, like, that really nice, light, buttery cookie. I don't taste mascarpone. Yeah, I think the cookie to cream ratio is a bit off. No, it's like the thinnest layer of cream. Yeah, womp womp. Womp womp. A little it's bit disappointing. Tasty, though. Still good. A little mm. bit disappointing. Yeah. All right. We got a tula. So this is a through. choco pie banana flavored, which I'm excited for. They didn't have the, the yum bag. I mean, I guess they just didn't have any of the, like, the smaller candies this time around. It's not. That's the first time that we haven't had a yum bag. Which, I mean, you know. Well, I mean, this is also the first time we've gotten out of the Mediterranean, so. That's true. Maybe those types of small candies just aren't that very oh, big in South Korea. Oh, that smells like banana. Oh, that, yeah, that, that punches you right in the face. Banana smell. Okay, so it's like. It looks like a wagon wheel. It does look like a wagon wheel. There's no other way to put it. <laughs> smells like it's punching you in the face with banana. Hmm. So it's marshmallow in the middle, so it is like a wagon wheel. It's like a banana wagon wheel. The banana flavor is very light. Yeah, the banana. Oh, oh, you know what? It's almost like banana bread cookie with marshmallow in between. Yeah, it's very pleasant. I like it. Mmm. Mm. I wish these would give you drinks. <laughs> That'd be nice. I feel like that would only go poorly in the mail. Mm. No, 
that's not necessarily true. Um, there was one subscription that I got. I right, but you need to make was, sure the temperature got, controlled the entire way through. It has to be one of the drinks that has like that you can like put on the shelf. Like soda technically can be just sitting on the shelf. I know, but then at There's the same a lot time, of, like, teas and stuff that also. At the same that. time, you don't know if this is going to be outside in sub-zero temperatures if you're delivering to anywhere during the winter. I don't know. I've and still if gotten it, if, drinks if, if, if soda if boxes. soda freezes, that will explode the can, and then as soon as it like. I'm just saying, again, I've got, I've gotten, I've gotten drinks in these subscription boxes before. I just wish I would get it now. Last one. This is a custard cream cake. There's another little individual cake, which I'm, I'm okay with. Oh, okay, it's the white one. Yeah. It's okay. like a little. Uh, it looks like a little tort. Yeah. It's like a little white cake. Almost like a Twinkie. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> I like it. But you took like all the filling. Where else was I supposed to bite? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm eating this. Oh. That is a delicious cake. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, it disappeared in like two seconds flat. That thing is gone. <laughs> it's very light. Mm -hmm. It's like angel food cake, yeah, but definitely but angel not. Food cake. Um, see, it's like angel food cake, but better. Usually when I have angel food cake, it's like, it's you still got like that weird, like filmy membrane-y kind of texture. I'm really describing it poorly. You Essentially, are. you what? try to bite into it and it like, it has some resistance. There's no resistance here. No, it doesn't say, it, it has just, the angel food cake It's like, oh, sponge flavor. cake. Sponge cake is what I'm trying to think of. This is sponge cake. Yeah, that is sponge cake. Yeah, that is, is what cake. I'm trying to think of. Um, I was just trying to compare yeah, it to so something else like Yeah, so cake with a little bit of custard in the center, and it, the custard honestly didn't have much of a flavor, I don't think. I think it had a bit of a vanilla flavor. Yeah. But like, like if it you eat it on its good. own, like, you get the time, like, it's a very light vanilla. It's not right. quite the vanilla that we're used to as North Americans. Million dollar idea. What? Mustard custard. Ew, what is wrong with you? You don't get to decide Many anything. things are wrong with me, and one of them is that I don't have mustard. <laughs> Um, okay, well, honestly, I liked everything out of this. I don't think there was a single thing that I was like, eh, you know? Um, I think my least favorite was probably the strawberry candies, just because I, I couldn't taste it, so I might just be biased. Um, all I could taste was the heat. You know, nah, they're still like a 5 out of 10. So what would Four be out of ten, least, maybe. Your least favorite, then? That would be the truffle, the yeah. the truffle chips. I'm like, I'm trying to eat them, and I'm like, I keep getting this hit of like, oh, you know what? That's not a bad flavor, and then it immediately just drops off the face <laughs> of the earth, and I'm just like, no, I don't really care for this. That's fair. So, um, I'm torn for my favorite. I, I think it's a tie between the churro snack, and yeah, these the ch the chicken ones. Those are my two favorites, I'm, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm in complete agreement with yeah? you, I think. Okay. It's, I would say the corn nuts have the edge, but those churros are also delicious. I, oh, it's hard to tell because I like the, the chicken ones because they're sweet still, and then they have like that little bit of heat and they've got that nice crunch, but they've got like that one notch down just because they do have a bit of that corn nut flavor, which I'm not super well, big fan of, I but love you corn are. Nuts. So. And then these, the other, the churro snacks, they have everything that I like. They're crunchy. They still kind of melt in your mouth. They're sweet. They've got the cinnamon flavor. They do have a little bit of that maple. So it's like a lot of like sweet flavors. And I love that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm right there for it. The other ones are all good. Like I do like these weird cocoa puff snacks. They're quite nice. That grape taffy is, I think my number three. The grape taffy is actually pretty good as well. Uh, these, I mean, like, I can get Pocky anywhere, so that's more or less just what it reminded me of. So it's like, I really like it, but it's also just like Pocky. And then these were good as well, but like, I don't know. They could have been more. And the little cakes were really good. I know we, I think the custard cake would be my number three. I inhaled that thing. <laughs> that custard cake was pretty good. Yeah. Any, anything below my number three, though, like, there's, it's so such a close race. And then you get the truffle chips at the bottom. Ooh. I'd say that banana cake is probably second to last for me. Really? Mm. It's a little too dry. It's quite dry, yeah. Um, I don't know what my second to last. I think my second to I'd last say, would be the the truffle chips. I'd say corn nuts, churros. Um, the oh my god, I just said it too. The the custard cake would be my number three. Mm -hmm. Number four would have to be uh, probably the strawberry gummies, honestly. Oh, no, you know what? Those those are tied with the grape taffy thing. Oh, okay, that grape go. taffy thing was pretty damn good. I can, you know what? I'm gonna bump the, the grape taffy up to number three as a tie. Okay. 
All right. There was a lot of good stuff. I'd say this is the, the winningest is, box we've had so far. This is the far. best box that we've had so far. I really liked it. Nothing in here was like a complete loss. This was yeah. definitely the most the, worth it for me. The the cream filled cookies could have been a little creamier. There was yeah. a bit of a, there was a bit of a ratio there's, there's issue a there. Of, there's there's cer certain things where it's like mm, we would have liked this better, but then again, yeah. like, this is like, a staple in a completely different country where they have different ways of doing things. And honestly, I mean, I think for the stuff that they have. I would go to South Korea for the food. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't have minded it, minded it so much for the cookies if it wasn't like the the cream wasn't like the main selling point. Like yeah. you see, like there's all the cream and and, and such, and then, and the then there's the thing on the, the back that's talking yeah. about it, and it's like you really set yourself up for some some disappointment on that. Yeah, that's more of a marketing issue in my opinion. Yeah, than it is a, than it, it is a for sure a food issue because honestly, like I said, the cookies still tasted delicious. Oh yeah, no, I I, I liked this one. This yeah. this was this was a good box. So if you guys are interested, sorry, burped. <laughs> so Carry if you on. guys are interested in getting Universal Yums, all of the information is down below. Um, there's also a link there where you can go ahead and grab a box yourself, give it a shot yourself, because I do honestly think that this is the most worth it food box that I've ever gotten. Um, it's decently cheap too. It, it's not all that expensive, honestly. I've had much more expensive ones in the past. Or ones that were similar in price, but just gave you less items or less good quality items. A lot of the other ones that I've tried, they just had items where it was like, I don't like this. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, I guess there was a couple things in these. Two, I also but, find yeah. I also find these boxes are better than like. Uh, I hate to call out the big brand on your channel, but loot box. Just because loot box, there's a lot of stuff where it's like, this is cool. I'm well, never loot gonna. Loot box doesn't have food. I know. I was like, I'm never going to use it. The issue I with much, those ones. I, yeah, a lot of the loot box crates, loot crates, not loot box. I'm, loot crates. I'm being stupid. Loot crate. A lot of those I find generate quite a lot of trash because it's just like random yeah. knickknacks that you're supposed to keep on your desk that are just like okay, and then three boxes later you're like, I'm out of space. I, I got to get rid of some. I, I think loot box is good when you loot crate. Loot crate is good when you when they're like actually doing something for like a series that you really really like, and then it's like, oh okay. Great. Grab the special edition ones, um, but like the snack boxes will always reign supreme in my opinion because at least you're gonna get all your utility out well, of it. Well, that's it. You're gonna eat them, and if you don't like a certain flavor or something, you can hand it off to somebody else who is gonna like it, and that's what's great about it. Um, but yeah. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, all the information is down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more videos from Roshi, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody.